Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Zagger Test Extreme. It is I, your host, the one, the only Z A Single God, and we are back here today playing more God of War with the Mythology guy. Hello, everybody. Let people know where they can uh, find you. On the Obviously, you can find me on my YouTube channel titled The Mythology Guy, three separate words all capitalized. Or you can find me on my TikTok page, The Mythology Guy, one word, nothing capitalized. <laughs> all right, so let's get back into God of War. I think it was your turn, good sir. All right, all right, give me God of War. Now, you'll never guess what our what our goal is right now. We have to climb up the mountain. Climb the mountain. Again. <laughs> Congratulations on ten thousand! Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm, I, I'm really blessed to have that, honestly, and you know, thank you for being a part of that, honestly. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing, Win Davis? How's your week been? Yeah, you still alive? Well, I assume so, unless he has a bot that was just ready to say thank you ten thousand subs when or congratulations <laughs> when you got to ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. Hey, um, Sindri, I don't know if you've noticed, but um, I think you have a problem. You might want to call somebody. I is wonder that... if the thunder and lightning is from Thor. Like yeah. I like how you're able to just go to his shop in the middle of this fight. Yeah, it's like, you know, ogre coming. Hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me pick up the groceries. <laughs> Excuse me, I have a schedule. But, if you want, I but... can fit you in for a quick battle. Mm. But at the end of the day, the list must be completed. I've got people at home waiting on this shit. Me wait to smash? You know what? You'll understand one day when you have a family of your own. But me smash family. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are those floating things supposed to be? Oh, those are... Um, mares. Mares. Like, in this game, they straight up call them nightmares. In the folklore I've read, they're called mares. They're, like... These little, like, eyeball spirits that, like, while you're sleeping, they go and they sit on your stomach. And they, like... They, like, pollute your dreams and stuff and, like, feed off of it. Um, I do find it a little weird that they made them a common enemy in this game because it's like, we're we're wide awake. Unless they're trying to set up a huge twist that this was all a dream. That would be interesting, but I don't think so. Yeah, which uh, they better not. <laughs> Honestly, I hate twists like that. Um, Atreus went from useless to useless asshole. <laughs> Kind of. <laughs> Little bit. <laughs> Hello. I just wanted to tell you that you can save fifteen percent or more on car insurance. Kratos's motto: Go in, fuck shit up, go out. <laughs> Zeus's motto: Go in, fuck people up, go out. Nice. As soon as you learn the pattern, you can just kill them pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah. That's how I like it. That's why I like games like Cuphead. Like. I mean, in Cuphead, you can't kill them quickly, but, you know, it's all about, you know, just learning and getting better as you go on. I remember when I first beat Cuphead, it was like 4 a.m. I had been playing for hours and hours. I was like, I did it! I did it! And there's no one to hug! <laughs> uh, if it was Forrest Gump, he'd be like, I was the god of war at one point, and I didn't understand what was going on. There were people fighting and yeah. screaming. I, I felt like everyone was being quite rude, to be frank with y'all. <laughs> I love that one line where it's like, like, I got shot out in the buttocks. They said it was a million dollar shot, but the government must keep that money because I ain't seen a penny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the crack. Oh, dude, don't touch the crack. That's just, you know. Well, you say hugs, not drugs. And that, that's a really big crack, dude. Like, somebody needs to have a look at that. Think, Actually, people need to not look at that, because that's gross. I think this mountain is a plumber. Oh, dear God. We can finally get the chest. chest finally dolphins. getting rid of the weeds. Oh, no, we burned the weed. Now everyone's high. <laughs> Hold right. up. That's not how that works. <laughs> people can't be high. What if people are low? That's why they need to get high, because they're at a low point. <laughs> I was going to say that's what prescriptions are for, but basically the same thing. You got to finish your chores before you pick up your treat. Stop trying to get the chest when the monsters aren't dead yet, Billy. Are you sure that? Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice try. Uh, oh, didn't you fool? You thought you could stop us? 
Like, just jump! <laughs> That's all it takes. Yeah. I mean, it was a cinematic moment. Did anybody else hear the screams of a small child? <laughs> uh, we pretend not to hear that. We do not need to unleash the One of these children you speak of. Oh, look who's back! Me. Oh, you did to Magni. My own oh, Someone's having daddy issues. Looks like he did more than that. Move it. We'll pick up where he left <laughs> Come at me, bro. Uh, Thor beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I like how you have one fight with them. I would have liked to see, have another fight with them at one point, though. Well, like, if you fight, like, half of what you were fighting before, it's not going to be much of a challenge. Not worth killing. Maybe if this you... is... You can tell how much Kratos has changed. Mm -hmm. No. Because Kratos would have just killed him. But we're gone. He would have smashed his head but into the we're gone. That's what you deserve. We can do whatever we want. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother. Right before I... Go. Oh! Oh, one last yo mama joke. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> and that's how he dies. He falls to the bottom and gets eaten by his own hyenas. Oh wait, that's a different <laughs> That's um I think that's a cartoon. Are you teaching me to kill? Why? How do you know? How do you know? You've never killed a god? Oh boy. Now this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there. I'll tell you how I wiped out the entire Greek pantheon and why I'm here now. And why I'm here. <laughs> and why I'm here. <laughs> you see, I was chilling out and relaxing all cool. Um, slaughtering... Ing some people out Outside, at the uh, school well, when a couple of gods who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight and Zeus got scared. He said, I'm gonna kill you before you wipe out my mountain. <laughs> Okay, yeah, sure. I rolled up to Olympus about seven or eight, stabbed Athena through the gut, said, Yo, home, smell you later. <laughs> Took down Zeus, and I was finally there. <laughs> Sit on my throne as the god of war. I'm, it's a work in progress. A god of war, not a god of poetry, damn it. At least I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe my old man brain is. Getting things mixed yeah, up. you're like 27, dude. You're getting all senile. I've already lost you know, half my kind brain. Kind of insane. In the war. I've only got like a few more days before I reach that bitter old age. And I'm gonna be bummed, man. <laughs> Atreus did all the work. Wow, never thought I'd say that. <laughs> I forgot I left the axe or something. Oh. I left my axe at home. Hold on. Come on! <laughs> I'm having some performance issues. Oh, shit, Tyler! Tyler's here. I used to do uh, karaoke at the place where he worked. And um, of course, you know, I did this amazing, amazing cover of Wrecking Ball, you know? Um, af after I did it, it was so incredible. Miley Cyrus herself called me and said, I'm sorry, I, I can't do the song anymore because it will never be as good as the way you did it. And I told her I understand, Miley, and, and I'm sorry. And she said, I can't ask you to apologize for what you have given us as an art beyond imagination. There's a couple holes wrong with your story. First of all, I don't believe Miley Cyrus knows how to use There's a phone. There's only a couple of holes in that story. Yeah, I don't think Miley Cyrus knows how to use a That's phone. That's what fucking ruined it for you. <laughs> and second, you, I don't think she'd ever apologize for anything. Well, that's oh, good. <laughs> Yo! My only problem with your story. Everything else is flawless. Now, gentlemen, you must think of the door as a womb. You must find the sensitive point where which you stab your pointed stone. <laughs> what, you don't like my analogy? This is what I do with the women, and this is why I have been to jail many times. The other one faded. I know that I faded! Just got to find the sensitive spot on this uh, thing. There you go, that's one. Now, where was that previous one? Uh, that, that, oh, uh, damn it. Are we just going to pretend he didn't just say I found it and was wrong? Hey, fuck you. First of all, <laughs> we are not because you brought it up. And second of all, you messed up. 
bitch. Hey. I'll have you know that this is not the only time I have claimed to find something and be wrong. Just ask every girl I've dated. All three of them. I can't learn if you won't teach me. Good, because I don't want you to learn, bitch. I've done everything you asked. And all I wanted was. You did not do everything you asked. We told you not to kill Modi, and you did that, you fucking liar. <laughs> to be fair, Modi was being a dick, but you were also like just ready to kill him. Excuse me, Mo Modi, he's just jealous because Modi made such a fire yo mama joke and he had no comeback, so he stabbed him in the neck. Yeah, that's just Honestly, what you do on that's, the playground. That's just how you know you've won. When, yeah, you tell the perfect yo mama joke and your opponent just stabs you in the neck. It's like, aha, they had nothing to come back with Yeah, that. we lost a lot of people in my eighth grade class because of that. Exactly. It happened all the time. It wasn't the students, it was the teachers doing oh, it Oh yeah, the, te other. the teachers would stab us in the neck because we would make such fire yo mama jokes. I want to go to Japan town and get Takoyaki. Don't make me fucking hungry now. Do you even eat Takoyaki? No, but you made me think about food. Well, we have snacks. Like, I hate it when you talk about, like, Atreus because I want to eat him. Ugh. Now I'm hungry. And I want to rip his head right off and just... That's... Have you tried children? Is it a door? No, it's a, That's a climber. Oh, wait, I can see by looking at the top which the right way is. So this is not the right way. So that means there's bonuses here. Bonuses? Bonuses, you say? Yes, I want my bonus check, goddammit. I've been working here for years. Don't make me call Michael Scott. <laughs> Michael Scott? Exactly. Ah, thank you, boy. Or just tell us, uh... I keep pressing circle instead of X. Okay, well, uh, you have a good day up there. <laughs> <laughs> that did nothing. I was wondering why you were waiting. I was waiting. trying he's... to hit him with that. You did, just not that. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. You okay there? It's not from what we did. He just had a heart condition, you know. It had to happen sometime. Atreus is Batman. How did you know? <laughs> How? I can't believe you just ruined it for everyone! Everyone knows Joy that. Boy! Everyone knows that out of all the characters in all comics, Batman is the most godly. God damn it, now he, he ruined it! He ruined that Atreus turns out to be Batman! Dude, do you realize that all... People were waiting to find out the truth, oh, my but dreams yeah. Have been smashed. Yeah. God, okay, so yeah, we might as well tell everyone now. At the end of this game, it is in fact revealed that these games are a prequel to the Batman Arkham games. Ugh. I can't believe you ruined it. Yeah. At the end of this game, Atreus and Kratos, after defeating, you know, the Norse gods, they celebrate by going to see the Mask of Zorro in theaters. And then <laughs> they walk behind into the alley, and Kratos gets shot by Joe Chill, and they pull the pearls off Kratos' gate. And, you know, then um, Atreus, you know, makes a vow that he will never let this happen to any eight-year-old boy again. And then we see a bat fly onto Atreus' shoulder as he stands over his dead father, who has just been shot by Joe Chill. I'm sorry, guys, but Joy Boy, like, brought it up. I can't believe you did that. <laughs> Atreus is the literal reason I face Palm so much in this game. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. It's gonna be worse when it's spoiled that Atreus is Space Batman. God damn it! Space Batman. Too. I forgot about Space Batman. Yeah. It's the dark. God man. damn it, Black Templar Captain. Is nothing sacred anymore? Nothing sacred anymore. <laughs> so, what do you think will kill Thor in the next game? The World Serpent or Kratos? Um, both. They're going to team up. They're going to do a bro strike. Um, like, Kratos is going to be riding the Midgard Serpent. And. Uh, you know what'll probably happen? Actually, I think Thor will kill the serpent, and then Kratos will rip the giant tooth out of the serpent and stab Thor with it, because in the myth, it's the serpent's venom that kills Thor. That makes a lot of sense. I like that. Yeah, so that would be a cool way for it to happen. Why are you hitting that portal? What did the portal do? Oh, I died. Jesus Christ. Oh well, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I can see why you got killed. Whoa, whoa! Yeah, there was a guy on your left and he hit you in the back. And but that did so much damage! Yeah, it did half your health. What the hell? Hey, fuck you! 
OP, please nerf. Kind of bugs Oh my, my god, brain. fireflies. <laughs> they canceled that show though. <laughs> we made it. We made okay, it. we're there. All right. Well, this is That's a heck game. of a game, the guys. Game I hope you okay, enjoyed it very much. Yeah, we're going to but... go to the giant hand. Yeah, like Why I remember once. Baba, look out. No, no! You're <laughs> more shit. Miss me? Actually, I kind of did. What we had together. Oh, shit! Right in the dick! <laughs> well, it's in the hip, but Run, still pretty much. Run, boy. Cross. <laughs> oh my god, Joe! I can do it! Aren't you a little close range? Balder is just like, are you finished? <laughs> oh, god! Balder, you're being too rough with me. Yeah, you said you promised you'd be gentle. Take me instead, I'll do whatever you want. Shut up! <laughs> All this time, I thought I needed you. You're just meat. <laughs> meat. Turns out, the boy is the brains. Uh, not really. <laughs> well, he is. He knows how to translate stuff, but that's about it. He is the brains, but not when it comes to fighting. <laughs> well, there goes the portal. Uh, all that work for nothing. Joy! <laughs> it's better than letting uh, the Acers get Once you. again, your princess is in another castle. Oh, I'm sorry I broke it. I was in the middle of a fight! Yes, by all means, Junior, run away. No, he will fight, and we will cut off your penis together. What, isn't that what the Norse did? They cut off each other's penises? No. Are you sure? I'm sure there was some mythology oh, that has to do with cutting off. So here's Atreus being an asshole. <laughs> oh, God. You are so grounded! <laughs> and here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> I mean, it is pretty fucked up. <laughs> he doesn't feel anything at all. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind? Right in his shoulder. I love that. Would you be so kind as to hold this? Those shock arrows don't even take down a single Droger, but one of them can hold down Kratos for that long. He was already injured, to be fair. Oh, there's another dragon. Yep. More dragon activity, brother. I feel like one is nearby. <laughs> Might want to watch out. I like how this dragon's armored, too. Yeah, that's really cool. And that's what I've been saying to you, Balder. <laughs> Why won't you die? Well, we know why he won't die. Oh, uh, now this dragon's just having a huge pain in the neck. Are we gonna crack his neck again and have it not do anything? We're gonna have to do a little chiropracting! <laughs> Kairos pra- or, uh, Kratos practic? Yeah, Kratos practic! <laughs> Stupid seagulls, get out of here. You can see Jor uh, Jormungandr in the background. <laughs> yeah, Jormungandr's just like, ooh, this is fun to watch. <laughs> Yep. Siri, recalculating! <laughs> oh, they went into the light. They're all dead. Oh, they are dead. They're in Helheim. Exactly. See, I told you. They fell into the light. <laughs> and remember, he left the door open. Ooh! <laughs> you rammed Atreus right into that. Fucking... Well, you're all gods. Well, uh, Atreus kind of deserved that. Boy. Boy. <laughs> it just immediately gets a Thanks boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Boy, walk it off. Come on, I know we literally fell into hell. Walk it off. With the power inve invested in me, I hereby summon you, pillow. <laughs> Let me know how that turns out. <laughs> I think he's going to sleep. He's been yeah. attacked by Hypnos. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Oh no, resist, resist Hypnos's charms. So what got you into mythology? Oh man, okay. Um. Well, first it was the aliens and the kidnapping and then... Yeah. Well, it was one day I was just thing. hanging out when suddenly Zeus literally pulled me into Mount Olympus. And me. Um, well, you know, um, I, I, I have my mom to thank a little bit for that. Um, my mom is uh, from Georgia, the one that's in Europe, not the one that's in America. There is a Georgia in Europe, a country, and over there, Greek mythology is pretty popular. And the reason for that is certain Greek mythical tales actually take place in Georgia. Uh, the Golden Fleece and Medea were actually in Georgia in the story. So yeah, my mom was from Georgia. Greek mythology is popular there. So when I was a little kid, you know, a lot of kids get read fairy tales when they were a kid. But my mom would read me Greek myths from a book called Daulerius. I, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce his name, but Daulerius' Book of Greek Myths. Um, which I've recommended many times on my YouTube channel. Um, 
It's a fantastic Greek myth book, and um, like it was one of the first when books I read all the way through when I learned how to read, um, and I really enjoyed it. And then I, when any time I would see a Greek myth book or story, I would get invested. And um, also, uh, as a kid, Hercules was my favorite Disney movie, and it was really interesting for me to read the original story and see how different it was, especially the fact that his actual name is Heracles, not Hercules. Every fucking person gets it wrong. Um, Heracles is the Roman... Uh, Hercules is the Roman name, not the Greek name. Um, and uh, so, and then one day, I think I was like eight or nine at the time, I liked playing a real-time strategy game called Empire Earth on the computer, and so my parents for Christmas at one point got me a real-time strategy game called Age of Mythology, and I fell in love with that game because I already loved Greek myth, and that was the game that showed me that there's other mythologies too, because that game has Greek, had Greek, Egyptian, and Norse when it was created. Yeah, at the time. And that's how I got into Egyptian and Norse. And another thing was, I, I loved to read as a kid, in case you can't tell by all this reading I apparently did. And um, one of the books, my dad really wanted me to be more educated. So he, like, there was this, oh, oh, I see what you need to do. Take the winds, take your axe out of there. Uh, take I... the winds, move that, then freeze it in place, then put the winds back there. Um, so my one series my dad would get me was a series called Horrible Histories. And they had one book called The Angry Aztecs. And that's what got me into Aztec culture, because it, Horrible Histories is great. It, it writes, like, dark stuff in a really comedic way. So it, I, I found it really funny, like, the way they wrote about the Aztec sacrifices and everything. It probably sounds fucked up to hear me call that funny. But, like, they, they did it in a funny way. Um, oh, I, I think after killing this guy, you get one of the upgrade materials. Yeah, I remember. Um... So yeah, that got me into Aztec culture, which led to me getting into Aztec mythology. And, you know, also as I was growing up, like, I would occasionally hear about the Monkey King from Chinese myth, and he always seemed really fun. Like, you know, he's on the show Jackie Chan Adventures, and he's celebrated in some others. Also, Jackie Chan Adventures was one of the things that got me into Chinese culture. Um... So as time went on, I got more and more interested in Chinese culture and started reading about it and stuff. And Chinese was an easy seg yeah, chaos flame. Chinese was an easy segue into Japanese, and it went on from there. So you know, more and more mythology as I got older and older. And when I started making my game, I wanted to put all of these cultures in it, and I wanted to expand. And I decided the next thing to go for was Hindu. And then my business partner uh, Wilda actually bought me a Hindu mythology book, which was very well written. So I read that, and you know, it just kept going on and on and on. And so now I know that I learned those seven. Then in my spare time, I picked up Celtic about a year ago, and I know that now. So I know those eight mythologies, and I have a rough. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to learn currently Polynesian, Native American, and Filipino. And I have a small knowledge of several others, like Mesopotamian. I know Roman because it's an easy segue from Greek. Um, and yeah, so I guess that's how I got into mythology and how it kept going from there. I hope that answers your question. Went on with that one for a while. <laughs> but it's a question with a long answer. Loki is my favorite to learn about. Yeah, Loki's a ton of fun. He will, he will literally do anything for a laugh. He literally tied a goat to his testicles to make someone laugh. <laughs> you know, if you've ever heard of a reason to make someone laugh. He let the goat yank on his testicles and make himself scream in order to make Scotty laugh. That is dedication right there. And I aspire to have that much dedication. Actually, I don't. I don't want to do it. And then, unbeknownst to Kratos, these fires spread and burn the whole fucking ship down. <laughs> That would be something. And, and Kratos realized, oh yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea to start fires on a ship with no braziers or anything. Well, the floor is made of metal, so... Is it? Yeah. Entirely? What? These things are made out of wood on the sides. Yeah. Right next to the fucking fires! I'm not saying that it's foolproof. <laughs> okay, what am I supposed to do again? Don't understand, it's like godly wood or some shit. Yeah, you know, that's pretty good, but not what I'm looking for. Alright, drop the anchor. Or that anchor. 
Or, or the wanker. Or none of the anchors. Yeah, just the wankers. Drop the wanker! And then we throw the guy we don't like off the boat. <laughs> and then the boat just starts flying away. That would be hilarious, actually. What if instead of anchor, we just had the wanker and we have, a, like, a rope tied to his leg? Drop the wanker! <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I was there for your daughter's christening. Shut up, wanker. Have you finished The Mandalorian? Yes. Awesome. Yeah, he was delicious. We, Yeah, he, he was great. We finished him with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. It's great to finally get a nice Chianti instead of that incessantly rude one. Oop. We're being boarded! Oh, we literally are being boarded, actually. How did they throw that up? Pirates! <laughs> Dead ice pirates. God damn it! Boy, I told you not to take this route! Why did you have to take us down the mission? But it's what it said to do on MapQuest. God damn it, boy! MapQuest is outdated! Oh, you got a new follower, the Viking Yeti. Thank oh. you, Viking Yeti. Well, it's great you're here because we're in the middle of a frozen <laughs> You literally, I think we could use your help, sir. You're a Viking Yeti. Can you get on our ship and fight off these frozen Vikings? <laughs> the dang Draugr. We got a serious Draugr problem over here. Oh, I, I thought you got killed for a second yeah, no. there. You like ragdolled across the I street. think we're at the next story point. Yeah. Excuse me, sir, but you've got something in your mouth! All right, that dental procedure went very well, I believe. Now, you're not going to want to eat for the next two hours. Or 2,000 years. So he'll be dead. So after 2,000 years, he'll be okay, right? Well, he'll probably respawn by then if it's like, uh... Oh, yeah, good point. Good point. What's it, uh, Percy Jackson? Actually, yeah, uh, because the monsters literally respawn in that story. So, that really helps. I thought oh, he had horns look, for a second. previously on God of War. Previously <laughs> on the other God of War. Remember God of War 3? Remember when he had, uh, was like a raging psychopath? <laughs> yeah. I don't remember him throwing them down in the original game. He, he did. I, I replayed the series before I first played this, and I remember it. It's like shot for shot. All right. Yeah. The only thing I don't like is um, earlier you could hear him saying, Come, father, let us finish this. And instead, they didn't use the original voice clip. They had this voice actor re-record that part. And I think they should have just used the original voice clip. Because it's a different voice. Yeah, that makes sense. I get it though. They uh, they didn't want to like confuse people, and, and maybe they didn't ha uh, they didn't have the rights to use his voice uh, because it was technically from a different game, and this is a different game. And by the way, uh, at, this was the point where I actually started to like Atreus a little more. Oh, like there's the missing thing. Oh yeah, see Egyptian, Greek, um, Celtic. And Hindu, I think, are the are what those four. Yeah, we can look at it when the scene is done. Or but they're about to say something that annoys me. Most unexpected. I think that one on the bottom left is Celtic. I'm not sure. Isn't that unexpected? Dead. Look clearly, that's tears, traveling somehow, perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the Are you saying tear wasn't Not clear? Runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean war. No, they don't. How do you... <laughs> they don't mean war. This one I know too well. That one at the bottom right is the Hindu symbol for karma. That's not war. <laughs> one at the top think... left is the uh, either the eye of Ra or There's the eye of Horus. That's not they war. <laughs> I think he's just Horus. assuming that it's no war because the one... Because <laughs> he's seen that one and he knows it's war. And it would be cool if they actually had the symbols for I guess war. you could technically say that karma... Even... I guess, yeah, you could say karma is related to, like, war. And, um, Horus is a warrior god. He, he is the god of vengeance, so... All right, fine, I'll give you some leeway. Yeah. But still. <laughs> does the... no, vengeance and karma are kind of the same thing. Yeah, vengeance, <laughs> karma... Does Omega really mean I war? I don't know. Mean head. You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. Yeah, let's be like Odin. Yeah, we should beat each other up and torture. Brother, you should be like Odin. Okay, 90, Kratos rips his other eye 99% sure the Triskelion is Celtic. But it's a path. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I think that that's Celtic right uh, The there. bottom left one? Bottom left, yeah. I wonder what the Celtic symbol is. Ask a dwarf. It's not like we know any dwarves or anything. <laughs> Wouldn't that be hilarious? He was like, we should be more like Odin. And Kratos is like, okay, rips the other eye. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't see anything. Yeah, that's that's nice. I've not seen you with someone. An old man. What old man? Yeah. That's a nice small way. Bracers of the World Serpent. That's bullshit. The World Serpent did not wear those. I refuse yeah, to would believe. Never be seen that at he, a party. Actually, like uh, okay. So slightly better strength, way better runic, but lower, worse cooldown, and slightly worse defensive vitality. Yeah. I'm the mythology guy. How's it going? I put on a wig. And trying to look a little more feminine these days. God, you got so ugly. <laughs> hey. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> you love me. I'm. You know I'm Time to do what you do, brother. Ooh. No, you're gonna be rejected live on. How was stream. your um? Who are you, Claire? Spa. I don't know what you're talking about. Also, spa my name is a I... dog. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm like just hideous today. <laughs> I was like, hi, time. I'm Andrew, and James says you've gotten ugly. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? That's true, I have gotten ugly. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to respond to this. <laughs> you don't. That's just the key. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, oh, Wynn says hi, Claire. Yeah. Hi to you, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's for you. Because I'm that's totally you. Claire. We're Freaky Friday. Is this, like, totally yeah. Lizzie McGuire or something? Mm -hmm. No, Freaky, Freaky Friday. Friday. It's not even Lizzie McGuire. She never did never Learn your that. 90s Weirdo. women. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know Unculture anything about women. Swine. That is very true. He does not know anything about them. Yeah, I've tried to pay them for things, but apparently that's I illegal. Realize the real tragedy of Balder is that he can't taste pizza. Oh, well, pizza true. sucks. Just pizza. taste food in Bob, general. You, the Ninja Turtles, would not He's approve. Lying. He I loves love pizza. pizza. <laughs> he eats pizza so much. I eat all the pizza. My doctor told me to stop eating pizza. I said, why? He said, because we're in a hospital. <laughs> I can't operate on you. I'm trying to save your life, but you won't yeah. stop eating pizza. I'm trying to examine you. You need to stop eating pizza, you idiot. <laughs> My doctor calls me an idiot. And I yeah. tell him it takes one of one. <laughs> We're in the middle of surgery. Stop eating a pizza. And you're like, you're yeah. the idiot for not eating pizza right now, doctor. Yeah. Exactly. Look, you're just get... jealous because you don't have pizza. Look, it's getting in there eventually. We might as well get it over with. Yeah. Pizza uh... is life. Pizza's good. Oh. You really tried good. to. And tried to fuck a pizza once. Ew. Tried? I think you mean that's succeeded. Not... <laughs> also, that's not true. They're, they're making a true. movie about it. It's called American Pizza. It's called the <laughs> Pizza. It could just be pie, because people call pizza pie. Yeah. Well, they already have American Pie. Yeah. Well, you know what? They already have a Halloween, and they just renamed that Halloween with the new one, so why not? Just... Yeah, this one's complicated. No, I got it. I think, oh, you do? I think... Okay. At least I think so. Do you think, though? Do you really think? Do you see? Ever? I am, therefore I think. Have you seen that one post where someone accidentally wrote on the sign, like, instead of please pay before exiting, they wrote please pay before existing. And wrote, <laughs> I pay, therefore I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can make it, you can make it, there you go. Yeah. Fuck it. Please pay before I exist. I don't, don't want to work like, that hard you, to exist. I don't like it that much. As you head into the world, like in the into the baby's body, it's like you gotta pay the toll. <laughs> Get over here, soul. Nippleheim room. Yay! We nipple only need heim. one more nipple. N you Yay! Nipple. We're nipple gonna get to the heim of nipples. Nippleheim for the win. Oh, you know what's yeah. funny? Is oh, now it says three out of four. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, I got one earlier when you were in the bathroom. Oh. That's what I was saying. How dare you get, you get things so much me. done? How dare you touch those nipples without me? <laughs> so, Air I mean, Kratos I'm... was like, you speak Didn't wisely, Atreus. Already. That is good to hear. Especially after the, all the dumb shit you've said before. <laughs> Finally, you're talking sense. You may have some meaning behind your words, Atreus. What if it like turns out all, I think I've said this before, but what if it turns out all those faces passing. are sentient beings that you're just murdering? Oh my yep. god. There's the, the stone, stone of Jotunheim. Well, what have we got? So 
some sort of travel stone. Let me see. No. Great are Dumbla's others. That's the Unity Stone. I want to memorize what he just said. Great Antarosa. I'm sure it exists. Yeah, what was that? If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. The Elpis. Interesting. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. No, I don't. Oh, always press circle by accident. Oh. <laughs> um, That's cool. It's a dark elf. Yeah, it's a dark it's elf, elf leader. Oh, it's a lead. That way it has antlers? Yeah, that's why it has. You know, like we said, if they have a hat, or that's horns. how you know they're powerful. No, yeah. it's a hat. You know he's in he's charge. Look at his hat. <laughs> you can't argue with the hat. Think about it. Crowns are basically just metal hats. Exactly. I don't think you're in charge, sir. Where is your hat? <laughs> I earned that hat, and then you killed him, and now people will think we just got the hat by accident. Why do you think people automatically like listen to people in uniforms? Yeah, because they're wearing about, like, hats. Look, this, this guy's got a big hat. In... <laughs> this guy has got a big hat. I respect him. Why do you think they have those guys in front of Buckingham House with a four-foot-tall hats? <laughs> Why do you think oh, rich people used to wear top hats? It's because they were on top because of their hat. Yeah, Remind exactly. It's gone. all about the hats, guys. We're gonna Without open up hats, hat. you command no authority. I've been doing this all wrong. I gotta start wearing hats. I'm gonna Let's feed see. my cat real quick, guys. So I'm gonna walk in front of the camera. What's your favorite color? Black. I like black. I, I think I didn't it's know cool. That. Remedy, right, you said you I remember. Black? Shane, your ass is on camera. <laughs> Work that butt. Shane, you're blocking the TV. Yeah. Well, Get the I... fuck out of the way! Get out! Get the fuck out of the way! Oh my god! <laughs> you know, fun fact, when I was in kindergarten, I was in a Catholic school, they did not like that my favorite color was black. <laughs> oh my god, that is so stupid. Yeah, that, it, it was kindergarten, so at one point they had a thing like, so, everybody pick a thing, pick your favorite color, black wasn't even an option. <laughs> That's so stupid. They were like, what's your favorite color, black? Black's not an option. Well, it's my favorite color. They said, pick something else. <laughs> so like, I picked oh, red, because I also like red. Yeah. Okay. Walking. Mother Since you like Walker. red so much, I think I, I think you would love God of War, Joy Boy. <laughs> Just red fucking everywhere, with, between the tattoos and the blood and the entire goddamn theme. In his rage mode. Yeah. Just down to this last ass. The oh, arrow he did it! Him. It's over. I killed him with the arrow. He just shot him in the back. <laughs> Fuck him! <laughs> All right, what's next? You think darkness is your ally? Oh, sorry. You think you think darkness is your ally? You merely adapted to it. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was a man, and by that time it was blinding. Ah, this might be the end of the boss gun. Huh? And then you fight a dragon. <laughs> We've already fought two dragons. Well, technically one and a half. One and a half? One of them we fought on one, top one of. You fought, uh, one we fought directly, the other we just kind of killed indirectly. We killed by cutting its wings so it fell. In, in a cutscene. Aw, so. oh, poor little dragon. Well, he, you don't know him. Maybe he maybe he double parks. <laughs> he was Boulder Fuck Dragon. Fuck that dragon, so. then. <laughs> maybe he sends scam emails pretending to be a Nigerian prince. Yeah. Or he, you know, tries to pick up women in parks. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> That was the weirdest bitch. She's the face. The symbol of the light what? That binds all she, 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 no. From far away, you're, you're, uh, you're a Weird Al Yankovic. That's what you thought looked like Weird Al? It's because from here, uh. you look like it because of your hair. Just because of my hair? Because you know how his hair Wait a minute, just... you're not Weird Al? <laughs> I know, what am I doing here? And you sing. I know is a lie! And you sing. <laughs> you and we love. 
Wait, we're going, going on an adventure. Hey, hey, are you are you sticking your nose where it don't belong, bitch? Yeah, your blue nose. Bitch. You and your blue nose people. You're not supposed to be sticking in my. Uh, you know, you're my, already my... blue. You want me to ha to make you black and blue? You piece yeah. of shit. Um, or maybe some purple. We'll mix the colors around. Maybe red and blue. Hey. We'll, we'll 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 add a whole hey. color of hey. variation. Hey, Sindri, you tell your brother to keep his tongue where it belongs. On a pizza. Exactly, because pizza is delicious. Are you listening to me, bitch? <laughs> yeah, God. I think I made my point. I've done too much improv in hey, my no life. No one's I'm forcing just like, no you to more. hang out with us. <laughs> <laughs> you chose this life. How much life? improv have you done? In your life? Uh, murder mystery is a She's lot doing of improv. improv right now. She's still pretending to be oh, a girlfriend. Oh, that's right. You did. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everything cute. I know is a lie. <laughs> that's not oh, true. God. Andrew's not really allergic to cats, is he? He's just improving it. <laughs> Let's throw a we cat in his face. Yeah, in this seat. is my character. <laughs> Look at the kitty. He's so cute. Do, do, do. Got on your chair. It's fine. Spoilheim. Oh, temporarily nice unavailable. Is, is that Jotunheim on the left? Yeah, it's the glowing one on the left. You know what? Uh, no, it's not. Yeah, huh? it is. Keep going one more. Don't know what he's saying. Wait, what the heck? See? You don't know shit! Wait, we were already at it. What the f- I'm not gonna Weird. say anything. Gotta yep. Go so, guys, this is the end of the game. We finally did it, you know? Yeah, we're going to Yotunheim. It was Yotunheim. a heck of a ride. Yep. Yeah. traveled, Oh, son Peter of a must bitch. Have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. Your princess is in another castle! <laughs> God damn oh, I no. Won. Either you tell us where that eye is, or I'm gonna hide your eye. Perhaps... I'm sorry. You should be sorry, you bitch. Odin asked me to... Sentry, man the fuck yeah, up. Oh, oh, is he puking? He what what is happening? Eye? Oh my gosh. He's having menstrual cramps. <laughs> Explains a lot. Well, that was useless. Oh, that was useless. Why? My thoughts exactly. Was Why was he vomiting? Time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. <laughs> now that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of box speckled cockers, I too <laughs> saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? And it's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the. <laughs> You know, <laughs> that sounds about right. About the one the serpent ate. Yep, the I'm snake ate that shit. Supposed to look inside the snake. The reason he was vomiting because he was thinking about being inside the snake. Oh, You're gonna have to give the snake I a prostate would... exam. <laughs> you want to get your the, whole body. You want to get the <laughs> eye out of there. We're gonna go up the snake's anus in the, the next, next stream. Yes. Yay. Um, I'd like to thank Entry. each and every one of you for coming here. Um. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our highlights from the stream. If you liked the video, please click that like button, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to join in live, we stream every Wednesday at 4, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to be notified when we go live, join the Discord where we have 400 members and rising. I hope you had fun, and we will see you Wednesday.